It's the age old question. You've got to get away for three or four days, whether it's business or pleasure. You want to pack light, travel light. You're going to be schlepping through airports and you want to keep it in easy breezy as possible. Well, I've got a solution using the humble Ziploc type bag. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey, welcome to Around the House with Scott, where I show you tips, tricks, and hacks for living better inside, outside, and all around the house. In today's episode, I'm actually going to be leaving the house. I've got to go to a real estate conference. Many of you know that I am a realtor full-time. That's my passion and my love. I've got to head out to Nashville, but I want to travel really light. And with the help of my little Ziploc bags, I'm going to show you some tips that you too can use so when you need to travel, you can pack as light as I am. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and share this video if you think it has value and feel free to comment so I can continue to provide more value for you. So let's get started. First off, if I've got my bag and I'm really challenging myself on this time. This is like a carry-on that's supposed to sit on top of a carry-on. This is all I'm gonna take. So my one trick and hack is I start with my sneakers, my workout shoes, and I think negative space right off the bat. I've got all the space inside the shoes. I can put in two pairs of workout socks in each shoe and boom, I've got that part covered. Drop those in the bottom because that's where my biggest weight is gonna be is in the bottom of the bag. Then my next step is to say, hey, I've got more negative space. Always thinking negative space first. It's kind of like when you've got a jar, you know, and you can fill it with rocks and water and then you think it's full and then you can add sand and there's still more room because there was space inside the rocks. That's kind of how I think about this. Next is I'll take some of my bulkier items, my jeans, roll them. I learned from a packing guru years ago, rolling, also helps keep things wrinkle free when you're traveling. So it's a great tip. Again, negative space, slide them right in here next to the shoes. And for the video's sake, I'm not gonna pack the bag with everything I'm gonna take, but you're gonna get the idea of how we do this. The next step is bringing our Ziploc bags into play. I like using gallon and quart size. And what this is gonna do is gonna, again, suck the air out of all this, create nice packing cubes, kind of homemade, but not too expensive. So let's start with my underwear. So again, you're not so worried about wrinkles. You just have to be a little creative, get organized in here. And before you know it, I've actually got four pairs of underwear in a bag. It's pretty darn easy. I'm just gonna seal it up, squish out the air. There we go. And again, finding some more negative space in here on the side of the bag, and I'm going. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and show you how we're gonna pack this whole bag nice and tight and it's gonna be great. So we're done. And many of you might think, hey, what kind of bag is that? This is a Briggs & Riley brand, which I like. I'm a fan of everything Briggs & Riley. I gotta tell you, they're expensive, they're high end, but what I love is they're guaranteed for life. Not a limited guarantee, but guaranteed for life no matter what. They're bulletproof. And I've had this bag for like 15 years now and it's amazing. So. You've seen me pack the whole bag. I've even added my snacks in here. I've got two giant side pockets left for phone, chargers, a tablet, anything else that I need. I don't even need to carry a backpack. This is all I'm gonna to need to get through the airport and get going on my trip. But let's deconstruct a little bit. I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that we really need to know when we're doing this to make, make it a success. First of all, I generally don't put my shirts in the zip logs. I like to lay them right on top at the very end so I know they're not gonna get wrinkled. They're the first thing that comes out. Remember, we want to squeeze the air out of the bags whenever possible so everything stays nice and compressed and it can be very flat. Next tip is, remember, roll, roll, roll when, whenever possible. Even inside one of the bags, when you roll, you're going to prevent wrinkles and you can really, really tighten up what you've got. Again, going back to the beginning, our other tip was negative space, negative space. Use every inch of room, including what you've got inside your sneakers and on the side of them, again, with more rolling where I put my jeans. And I've got a bonus tip for you, which I found out when I was at my skating nationals in Cedar Rapids a few months ago. I went to Target and bought some trash bags because I was staying in a hotel that had a little kitchenette. All they had were these scented ones. And I realized, aha, they make perfect dirty clothes bags. You know, you're in hotels, you get these chintzy little bags, you put a few things in them and they just bust open. I had these tall kitchen trash bags. I put one of these in the closet of the hotel room, use it for dirty clothes. And then at the end of the trip, I had a spot to just pop it right in my bag come home, and also nothing was smelling like a locker room. So to me, that was the biggest aha of that trip. They're a little strong. These are lavender ones. They have ocean breeze, a whole bunch of different ones, but that was kind of an unintended benefit 
of that trip. And now I'm hooked on always putting in a tall garbage bag whenever I go away, and it's gonna be my dirty clothes bag. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's video. I've had fun putting it together, and I'm ready for my trip now. And by the way, it's a real estate conference where I'm gonna come back and be better and smarter to serve my clients for next year. Thanks for watching.